Right, video four or five. Sometimes I do two small ones close together, so I don't, that's one I tend to forget um, how many I've done. We're now on the lower track. Here we've got the start of the little fence in that they put up. Over there's a car park to Sand Bay, and you can walk along the beach all the way to Sand Bay, Sand Point, Middle Hope, St. Thomas Point, and the Priory. Here's the main road. It used to be a toll road in the past. Um, and that takes you to the bus stop when you can go for your walks on the beach over to, or across land, to the Priory, that sort of thing. So I've skirted round, come down from right up the top. <coughs> I haven't ploughed through the humps and bumps made by the mountain bikers. I've actually skirted right round them. I sometimes walk right through. It's midweek, it's Tuesday, first day of spring, March the 21st, 2023. And this is a safe route so you don't get killed on the road, but you still see people on the road walking or running. I've cycled this as well. It's, this is the harder way, actually, this way. Um, they'll probably start using it more when the weather improves here. Yeah, this is the, it's more uphill this way. This is the humps and bumps. And uh, over there you've got the sea. You've got the um, River Severn, the Bristol Channel. All different, five or six different rivers that meet. And if you go round the corner of the hill fort here, you're in Western Supermare. I can smell seaweed type smells already. Um, so here we go, there's a nice view of the, like I said, it's empty, you come here at a weekend or after when the schools are out and um, this is a busy place. But you, it's not just kids, <coughs> a lot of it is actually grown men that do this. And like I've said to Zara before, my daughter Zara's half-brother, Kia. He's got his own wood in Switzerland and he's built his own biking area and ramps and stuff. He works for a big drug company in Switzerland. Can't remember the name of it. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got into the right area. They're all doing well here. Other halves. Um, one's a civil engineer. They've all travelled the world. Um, and uh, they don't see a lot of Zara because of I mean, this distance in. Um, she saw more of them when they were small, when Pete was alive. Um, that's what happens with families. You might have a family, but you never see them. Or you don't get on with them. They're always your family, whether you like them or not. That's the trouble. Yeah, this is a harder route. And because I haven't really done much walking this winter, um, I do feel my muscles are not liking it. They've been lazy. But I still have been walking, when the wood is my saviour. Walking up the top there, no hills of course, apart from when you first get here. Um, pretty area this. Yeah, the wood has actually kept me going really, for not stagnating too much or, or muscle waste. You can't afford to lose your muscles once you get to my age because they don't recover or grow back like they do when you're young. So, my legs are still very strong, I know they are. 
my lungs have let me down a lot but I haven't had a fag now not one single fag for 10 years not one I actually gave up more than 10 years ago but the first let me see um, the first three years of giving up from 2009 to 2013 um, I think that's four years yeah it took me four years to gradually train the brain and with each year say 2011 12 I was give, I was hardly smoking but I'm going from when I've not had one fag that is 10 years but the other couple of years I wasn't hardly smoking and I was training the brain and the body to get rid of the need for the drag on the fag which I used to love with a cup of tea I'd never go back now because since I gave up my chest was getting bad anyway I was always coughing when I smoked I was always coughing I was easily prone to chest infections as well and um, all that stopped when I gave up but my lung capacity was still not brilliant you don't always recover the alveoli don't always grow back like they were that's another thing it's total destruction really a bit like bubble wrap which I've told people loads of times once you've popped it that's it right anyway I'm going to take a nice picture of this beautiful scene right let's I'm over back on I'm not going to talk about me giving up smoking on this but it is a reflective journal a visual diary and I never know what's going to come into my head to start rambling on about I have got so much stuff so much just for, like I'm doing these web links at the moment I don't want to really miss out the ones with the poor photo quality because some of the narration is very very good and it tells a story so people don't actually have to look at the the video or the photos they can just listen um, obviously as I progress with my skills in taking photos and recording it does get a little bit better but and so I must try not to leave out the early stuff because it's still a record in time time and space so I do put them on but I think oh my god that's awful because sometimes it's the, the narration's good but the actual video can be blurry, jumpy, swayy um, but I'm saving, I'm sorry but I'm saving it for posterity to be quite honest um, I haven't got the best quality cameras anyway even now of course I haven't No, I haven't got the best quality cameras at all. So, if I haven't got the best quality cameras, and as um, technology improves, it doesn't always take along with it the work you've done. So sometimes the result, when they load your stuff, isn't as good. Well, like I said, I do tend to do this a couple of times a year. I like coming in the quiet times. I do want to do it when it's fully dressed, if you like, with leaves and stuff. Hello, little daffodil. And the daffodils look lovely today. Look lovely. The door, is it the door? Um, I can't remember the name of the group. And there we see over there we've got the Sand Bay Beach over there.
Sand Bay Beach. Every now and again you get some spray. This is luminous, so people going home at night, they'll see these shining up. And here we've got my bus coming along the number one to Sand Bay, the double deckers on, not the open air. There it is, it's coming along. That's my bus that I use when I go on the bus to Sand Bay. There we go. There it is, that's my bus everyone, that's a good view of it actually. Yeah, that's good. That's why all the walkers like going on that. I'll tell you what's been a bonus for me, I was able to retire early-ish. Which you can't really do now. I got my bus pass when I was 61. I wouldn't allow it until I was 61. Even though boys or men my age could get theirs when they're 60, I had to wait till I was 61, 10 months and 5 days. Now, don't you think that's a bit unfair? It's the same now with the full pension. I still get quite a good pension, but the full pension, I'm £20 less off a week. Or it could be a month than a bloke my age. Because all the women that were born before 53 don't get the new state pension. Now I've, I've been topped up because I was a teacher and I had extra little bits. But a bloke my age, exactly my age, he gets the full pension. See? even if he was born before 53. Now, I think that's disgusting in, in this day and age where a lot of women work, a lot of women sacrifice willingly to stay at home and look after their children. I feel sorry today for all the young mums and blokes, I suppose you should say really, not to be sexist. It, apparently some childcare costs more than their mortgage. Now the government had a budget last week and they promised all sorts, but none of it's going to start yet. They're talking about 2025. They might not even be in government by then. The way they're going, they'll be kicked out, but the Labour Party, the present Labour Party, are just as bad. They carry out each other's policies and the bet is probably just as useless. Now we need a big societal upheaval I think. The inequalities are terrible. The rich and poor and they laugh at people. They gloat with their greed. No, it's um, not good at all really. Anyway, this is what I reflect on folks. Now some people like listening to me ramble. They like to see the scenery. I just zoom in there. Then onto the beach. The muddy beach where you can still find fossils, by the way. A couple of years back, they found some very ancient skeletons, some bits of them, um, out there. <sighs> There's the lovely wood, and who knows, they probably want to chop all this down, you know, the clearers. So that the whole fort is exposed. I think it'll collapse myself. I think the fort will start eroding really quick. And before they know it, it's flat. Apparently there's lots of little <coughs> caves and stuff in there. And there's various pathways you can come down from the top if you want to as well. I'm really glad I made the decision now because if it's going to rain I might be nearly back in town by the time it starts doing that and um, I would have had a nice peaceful walk because I haven't met nobody like I say once the holiday people come to Pontins and fill up the holiday cottages and the kids are off this would be busy here
This will be busy here. Right, this is where we start having to do a bit more work when we walk this way. There's a bit more hill, but as I've always said, hill is good. Hill is good. It gets the cardiovascular system. And though I don't like doing it, some cute little daffodil that one, isn't it? It's an unusual. That's an unusual type daffodil, isn't it, with all those heads on it? Yeah, it's a different sort. Hmm. Yeah, th this way you have to go up a bit. If you go th from the other way, obviously you're coming down this. But like I say, hills are good, it shakes up the rib cage. So we're going up. I see a few trees have been cut down here. This is all part of the clearing process. Now what they'll say, when they've cut these trees down here, is it for safety reasons? And they probably want to widen the road. Sometimes you can understand that. Okay? Sometimes you can understand that. But to me, it's all part of the clearing process to clear this wood of trees. And expose the stones, the archaeology. Apparently, even though we know it's here. You know, we know it's here. Yeah, they've cut down more since I was here on the left visit, I think. That's what they do. They come in and they cut and they cut and they cut. And that's what they're doing. Look here. And who's had the wood? Who's had the wood? Flipping rich people probably for their burners. Right, I'm just going to turn off a minute and take some pictures from this lovely view here over Sand Bay. Over